My mushroom Dirtball My mushroom Man, you still making some of that mushroom tea? My mushroom <laughs> Let's take a little trip My mushroom Come on who wanna dabble in the mushroom cloud with me? I'm ready to mack them down and get them stuck up in my teeth Been a long time since the last time No, I'm lying cause I did it last week <laughs> They gave my brain, get it ready for sleep I put the poison in my mouth and then I turn up the beat Somebody please What up everybody, it's the Dirtball out here Metolius River Basin, Crook County Chronicles number 12 I'm on a mushroom cloud right now A real one though, an edible mushroom cloud We're out picking morels, king beliefs, and uh, some coral mushrooms So I'm gonna show you what I found this morning On my mushroom cloud not only do I eat psychedelic mushrooms, I eat gourmet mushrooms too, and I sell them for cash. I know them right now, starting to feel it all in my bones. I'm yawning like, I think God I'm at home. I'm in a mushroom cloud, I'm in here and it's way too loud. And all the walls around me calling my name. Why did I eat them and didn't eat them and now they got a grip on my brain? I'm in a mushroom cloud. So if you are going to come out and hunt these morel mushrooms and bleach and uh, coral mushrooms, you're going to want to make sure you're in the proper area. A lot of times, you know, burned, burned forests are the best. They have a lot of, like, carbon in the soil. Um, you know, and you can go anywhere, basically. North-facing slopes are where you're going to find them the most, especially in the early season. Late season, it doesn't matter because they're up everywhere. Just look for shady spots under tree groves, and that's about it. And you're off and running. All right, so this is kind of the environment I'm going to roll you up onto what... Um, through the ground and how you kind of can find these. These are blonde morels. These are more natural. They're called natural morels. And it's uh, actually, they're worth more than the blonde ones are. So anyway, when you come across these ones, opposed to black or gray, um, they're worth more money. I just eat them. I've been selling them for many years, but I used to sell them to the stores and shit. Anyway, so I'll walk you up exactly what I just walked up on. And some coral that's already been eaten by a deer. So you can kind of see this ground cover. Under the... There's one. You can see the other one wanting to pop out. So, I'm gonna walk over to the coral. You can see this coral. There's probably another one right here. Maybe not just this one. It's pretty fresh. Get in there. Oh, that one's done for. See the ants? There's a fresh piece. That super yummy. Might even be another one right here. Yep. See, there's a real fresh one. Good new one. Get down in there. Fuck it. Maybe not. Nope. That's infested with ants too. So you win some, you lose some. There's a good one right here. Look at that. Freshness. Ooh, fuck that up. Gone. Couple fresh. Nope, those are gone too. So one fresh. Fresh job out of there. That's a good sign with mushrooms in the woods. If you see deer eating them, you can eat them too. So, it's just the general rule. Thumb. Believe it or not, when you're mushroom hunting, you have to have permits from the Forest Service, which I do, and, and I obey all the rules for sure. And uh, always carry a pocket knife. One of just a nice size knife so you can get in there. And you're supposed to cut them a certain way. So you're supposed to cut them at the base, leave the mycelium off the bottom in ground for next year so you can come back and always know there's more. Some people prefer to just yank them out of the ground, particularly foreigners that come to our backyard over here in Central Oregon, so they don't quite follow the rules because they've already pilfered their forests. So anyway, um, that's what you do. So here's how it goes. As you can see the morel, I'm gonna find the backside and just cut that away and leave that. And there you've got yourself a nice mushroom. See, so it's not often that you find a cluster either, so I'm gonna show you a cluster up in here. And these are morel mushrooms. The main reason that we're out here hunting mushrooms is for these. These go for a decent price. Um, not quite what the Matsutakis go for in the fall. These are just in our backwoods. Super yummy. These taste more like, uh, they're all kind of nutty. 
So this is a King Belit, one of the choice edible mushrooms that grows out here in the woods. Um, you just take this foam off under here and then slice it up long ways it tastes like walnuts. And then this is the coral mushroom that grows uh, underneath conifers and some lodgepole pines. Um, super good. Doesn't, doesn't have a super big taste, but you can add it in as a filler. So this is what we got.